Hey y'all, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys a pretty quick video. I just, I asked on Instagram if you guys wanted to see a flip through of the new Good and Beautiful math curriculum and you all said I was a 90% yes. So here we are. Um, I'm gonna show you a quick flip through of this. I just wanna say, I'll put a timestamp if you don't want to hear this. If you just want to get to the flip through, I'll put a timestamp down below for you to skip to that. But I want to add that this is level K and they are going to be releasing the next levels one through five. I think they said by August 2nd. So I don't know if it'll be on August 2nd or before, but by August 2nd, the next levels one through five will be out. Now, if you are completely new, then this will just be checking out a math curriculum, okay? But if you already know about the good and the beautiful or if you've been around my channel then you know that a couple of years ago we purchased their math curriculum for one of my children it was overwhelming even for me as a parent there was it was so involved there was this huge box of manipulatives so many daily activities it was kind of like their language arts but for math, it was very robust, which I'm sure there were absolutely a lot of kids out there who loved it, did well with it, it was great for them. But my particular child did not look forward to it, did not, it was too much. And that was kind of how I felt. I was like, good Lord, if this is the lower level, I can't imagine what the upper levels will be like with this math. And so we kind of, you know, gave up on that, which is what it is. Like I said, I'm sure it did work for some people, but obviously not enough people because they've made this change to now the simply good and beautiful math. You still have a manipulatives <laughs> you still have a manipulatives box here. It is much smaller. It feels more realistic for a kindergartner, much more realistic. So, I don't have all the other levels. I don't I don't even have a child in kindergarten. I just bought this because I really wanted to see the changes they were making. I wanted to test it out and I wanted to be able to share with you guys my thoughts on it as well. I will definitely be purchasing additional levels. I'm not saying that I'm gonna go bananas and purchase levels one through five when they come out, but I'm not saying that I won't either. Let's get to the flip through. Don't fall over book. And I'll, <sighs> hair in my eye. And, I, oh no. Sorry, I have a sty in my right eye that is killing me. It hurts so bad. And yes, I know I shouldn't have makeup on with a sty. I just put it on to film a bunch of videos and then I'm gonna go wash it off. Point is, let's get to the flip through. Good Lord, have mercy, Angie. Get to the flip through. All right, so I'm gonna try to get through this flip through relatively quickly because I turned my air conditioner off and it is hot out here um, in, in the homeschool room office area. Okay, so this is the Simply Good and Beautiful Math K. No great surprise, it starts with a table of contents to let you know everything that you're going to be covering in this curriculum. And it obviously being level K does start with basics, numbers, plus and equal signs, learning numbers into the teens, ways to make five, then you're going to be moving into tally marks and um, counting by tens and sorting and all kinds of different things all the way through to the end of the year where you get to things like um, 2D, 3D shapes, seasons, symmetry, time, the calendar, um, and things like that. So that is kind of the scope of the course. And you've got a little hundreds chart here. Then it lets you know that in terms of supplies for this course, you really just need obviously the course and the course box, a pencil, crayons or colored pencils, um, a whiteboard and dry erase marker, and then 10 pennies, 10 nickels, 10 dimes. And they just recommend that you keep it in the box. So you always have it. And then it shows you kind of how it's organized. It's a teacher's guide and a book, so there's not a separate teacher's guide. It's got 120 lessons divided into three units and then each unit has an assessment at the end. And if you do four lessons a week, you will finish a normal school year and have about four weeks left over. Um, so that's great if you are four day a week homeschoolers like we have always been in the past. And then it just kind of goes over the structure of the lesson, how each lesson is formatted, how to get started. The good thing is, this is the part that I really like, most lessons take 10 to 12 minutes. And that's if your child is very on target for this level then the lesson should take 10 to 12 minutes and obviously a little longer or a little less depending. Um, and then it is a spiral curriculum, not mastery. So you're gonna cover concepts over and over again 
uh, to really drive it home and make sure your child understands it. So then we move into unit one, lessons one through 40, letting you know what concepts are gonna be taught and then giving some parent teacher tips. And then this is what lesson one looks like, numbers one to three. One of my favorite things about this curriculum really is just how beautiful the good and beautiful <laughs> curriculum is. I love the drawings, the graphics and everything are just, they really are absolutely beautiful. So that's lesson one and then lesson two. You can see that they are not crazy long lessons. I can totally see how this would take about 10 minutes and I'll just flip through some of these so you can kind of get an idea of what things look like. That's like, I just love that. I think that is so fun and engaging. It makes me want to see, what is it? What are we doing? What do I need to do? All right, so moving into unit two, new concepts that are being taught, giving you your tips there. And then you can see these lessons are getting a little bit more intense, asking them to do a little bit more, but still I like maintaining that sort of two page format for each lesson, not getting crazy long with the lessons. Okay, so at the end you have your unit assessment. They tell you this is technically lesson 79 and 80. So I'm guessing that probably means that you can split it up into two days if you don't wanna to try to do the full assessment on one day. But it's got a section for you to read to the child um, and then an oral assessment, ordinal numbers, place value, telling time, a little additional practice, vertical addition. And then you move on to unit three. Same thing, tells you the lessons, the new concepts, gives you some tips and lets you know if there's extra supplies that you'll need during these lessons. They do give you the instructions in different colors here. So the blue writing is sort of the instruction to the parent. And then the black writing is what you're gonna read aloud to your child as the lesson. So as we're getting towards the end of the book, again, you can see getting a little more intense in what they're teaching and learning. But still lots of beautiful graphics, colorful things, stuff to draw. Oh, beautiful. Measuring. A little game. Subtraction stories. I love that they are incorporating some story concepts into teaching math. I definitely think that can be very helpful, especially if your kid struggles with math, is learning some of the concepts in story form. Then you get to the end and you've got the course assessment here. And um, same thing, kind of got your parent section, an oral assessment section, ordinal numbers, telling the time, subtraction, shapes, evens and odds, comparing volumes of liquids, vertical addition, horizontal addition, counting by 25s, one more, one less, and that's it. You're all done. Now with these lessons, you do have a manipulative pack. This is much less than what the previous one was, and I like it. So they recommend you add your pennies and stuff like that into this, your pennies, dimes, and nickels for lessons so that you don't ever lose them. Um, but you've just got some like little match sticks, some little kind of like almost looks like game pieces some different uh, number, symbol, uh, blocks. I'm assuming for playing a game where you roll and add and subtract, which is always fun, and then little cars as well. So I think that is a much more simplified version. In my opinion, much better for a kindergartner, um, at least all the kindergartners that I've ever <laughs> taught of my kids. I think this is a much more realistic, um, better curriculum for math. Yeah, so hopefully that gave you a little insight into the new Simply Good and Beautiful Math K. Like I said, I can do videos about the future levels um, when they come out. If y'all are interested in seeing that, just leave me a comment down below and let me know. But that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you again soon. Bye. Rainy days, 